today I thought I'd give you a little glimpse of a Yamaha golf cart in the villages. A couple little um, extras that, that come with them. This is a 2015. Um, it comes complete with everything to make it legal on the road. Uh, the one thing we have is the covers here. They unfold and fold in a zip. Here's the zip liners here. And uh, on a rainy day or a cold day on both sides. These here will fold up also and I can put them away. I leave them down. They don't bother me. Uh, but that's extra. This liner here to get it collar matched to the to the cart. Alloy wheels, 10 inch. These are 10 inch tires. They're um, uh, radials. That's also extra. The uh, floor mats here. They come in different kind of styles. That one there is collar matched. If you notice, the collars here, red and black, which matches the cart. The dash, a wood grain dash. There are several different styles of wood grain dashes, collars, and um, different things. That's the one I chose. The cup holders and all that. Uh, believe it or not, these locking glove boxes here. There's one here. There's one over there. Those are extra. They charge you for that. I know it's kind of funny, but it does. Um, this up here, the storage compartment up here. Uh, a lot of people like them. A lot of them don't. My wife and I do. We put our jackets and hats and glove, golf gloves or whatever up there. So we do. This here is mine. Um, I put this up here. It's a Bluetooth speaker. It goes with my cell phone. So if I want to listen to a little music or the news going down the road. Garage door opener. Um, handles. You might think they're stupid, but they're really not. They help you uh, get in and out, especially if you have lower back problems. Uh, also, if you're on a hilly golf course, it gives you something to hold on to to keep from rolling out. I know that sounds a little silly, but uh, people do. This bar here is for accessories. One of them is a rear view mirror. Fold away mirrors here. Because when we park downtown, we park our golf carts side by side. We don't park like a car. So we can fold our mirrors out of the way so people can walk between golf carts. Also, we have a fold down uh, windshield for those hot, hot days, especially when you're on the golf course. Let me get this thing. This is all Velcroed up here. It keeps the water from coming in on a rainy day, which is a good idea. Anyway, that folds down there. And then a slight little push and it locks in and I've also got a screen that I had custom made that goes in here it's in the garage right now and that's during our love bug season keeps uh, keeps the bugs you, you still get the air but it keeps the bugs from going in there and hitting you in the face um, I'm not sure what color this is it's a factory collar it's a metallic uh, but I liked it and so I got it but you can also get custom collars these are the the I don't know what they call them, iodized headlights. They're kind of a blue glow to them. Um, we also had our custom names put on here. This is a turn signals. The seats is the most important thing. I had those seats custom made. You can get that done here in the villages as you buy your golf cart uh, just about anywhere. They do the, the uh, different seats. Um, I got the, probably the most expensive. They're um, separate sliders on each seat. I've done that so my wife, uh, she's short-legged. She can move her seat closer to the steering wheel or whatever and I can leave my seat back. And also by having separate sliders, get the armrest here out of the way. Um, you only need to slide or, or, or one seat forward to give you access to the gas tank. This is the gas tank. That's the air filter and so on and so forth. My wife's not the strongest person in the world so if you don't get these, if you get a bench seat, it looks just like this but it's a bench seat. Um, you have to raise both seats up at the same time to get gas and it's pretty heavy and I don't think she could do it. This here obviously is that's reverse you can hear the, the uh, whistle and forward key 
I usually leave the key on for safety reasons. I'll show you here in a minute. You do a walk around on your golf cart to check it, make sure everything's okay before you drive it. These people around here, they don't, and it's unsafe. As you can see, both tail lights work, and my third light works right here. That's uh, also turn signals. Left turn signal will be over here, right turn signal will be over here, and they blink with those down there. Um, golf bag rack, they charge you extra for that. The basket, extra. The sand bottle and the holder, that's extra. I got the extra large cooler that slides in here, which is removable. It, um, let me unzip this. It, uh, very simple design that comes out. And as you can see, there's the bracket, there's the, the piece. And it just slides right in. Uh, that'll hold, I don't know how many canned beers. I don't drink beer out of a can, but I'm gonna say that'll hold probably 10, 12 cans of beer. It'll hold uh, uh, like eight bottles of beer. Um, the one that comes standard on them uh, holds like, I don't know, four beers. It doesn't hold a lot. So I got the extra large cooler. Why not, right? It was an extra 50 bucks, I think, for that cooler. So, um, yeah, and also steering wheel cover. I got that. Makes your steering wheel a little bigger round. As you can see, it's got the uh, it's got the notch grips. It just makes it a really nice, comfortable feeling when you're uh, driving. Turn signal, horn, um, all that's here, just like a car. This here is also the horn, if you want to use your foot. Of course, for you golfers, you know what this is. People that don't golf, this is where you put your scorecard. So when you're golfing on the golf course, you can write the score down. This here, let me turn it. Well, it doesn't really come on unless I'm driving. This here is your speedometer. This thing back here, it's kind of dirty. Let me wipe it off. It's your speedometer. It's your uh, information center, really. It tells you everything from the air temperature to what time it is, how long it took you to get somewhere, how many miles have you put on the vehicle, um, how many miles is it from point A to point B. It's got all kinds of stuff you can do with it. Truthfully, I don't do nothing with it except use the speedometer on it. That's all I use. Um, those up there are the inside flashers inside the cart. You can see it blinking, I think. I can't hardly see them. Right. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's also one on this other side over here. You can see it over there. That's uh, to remind you that you have your turn signals on. And uh, some, of these, some of these old duffers down here dr drives for days with their turn signal on and don't even know it. It's amazing, I know, but it's amazing. Um, down here's your gas gauge, as you can see. And there's the hours I put on this vehicle so far, if you can see that. I've got 194.5 hours on it. That button right there, right here, is the four-way, the four-way flasher. Let me shut this thing off. But everybody should do that as a safety precaution. Turn on your emergencies. Walk around your vehicle. Make sure that your turn signals are working, your brake lights are working. Make sure the headlights are all on. It doesn't take much. You turn the key on, you turn everything on, and walk around it and look at it once in a while. Oh, also on this vehicle, which is um, a little uh, nicer, I think. I mean, it's just personal opinion. You can get both. Mine is, you can see that, fuel injected. They come right now anyway. You can get carbureted and you can get fuel injected. I chose fuel injected. They just seem to be more reliable. But it's just like a car. The shocks and the stabilizers and all that. The steering on the Yamahas are very, very easy. It's not power steering, but it sure feels like it. Very easy to steer. That's one thing that I really liked about it. But there's also kinds of customizing you can do to these things. Uh, what I've got is I got a few customization, customizations on it. I already showed you what they are. Uh, that cart right there, eat with the new seats. The seats were $1,700. Uh, the rest of stuff in there was, uh, you know, $75 for this, $50 for that. Uh, there's still some more things you can do. I, I'm probably not going to do it. I don't see the point because uh, it is a golf cart, you know. So... Um, 
that cart right there was right at thirteen thousand dollars brand new the way it sets with the uh, side covers the seats the uh, 10 inch wheels um, all that stuff it was around thirteen thousand dollars this thing right here see where it says card aid right there that's like a triple a for golf carts down here it's like sixty dollars a year and uh, you know what a deal you break down have a flat tire somewhere cart uh, runs out of gas whatever reason 24 hours a day seven days a week you call call that number right there which everybody's got it on their cell phone and uh, you just tell them where you're at and they, they come out there within 15 20 minutes with a with a trailer uh, if they can't get your cart fixed and get it running uh, they'll put it on a trailer and take it to your house and uh, put it in the garage for you. No charge. The 60 bucks a year pays for all of it. And uh, my wife has used it twice. She's been over in a construction area where they've uh, built new houses. And she's got nails in her golf cart tire. Not this golf cart, but the other one we had. And uh, she had to call them up. And they came out with a, a new tire and everything. And they put it on her golf cart. And, of course, she had to pay for the tire. But the uh, service call and everything is absolutely free. I wouldn't be without it. So, anyway, beautiful day today in Florida. So that's uh, that's a Yamaha golf cart.